All right, so I've improved the blog project better. Now I will uh, demo the project again, then we'll show you the code. So as you can see, I added some CSS to the project to make it more organized. Uh, yeah, it's just been better now. So we're in the homepage right now and it says, welcome to the Fatih's blog. Yeah, welcome. So in the old logs, uh, I need to start my server, okay. So in the old blocks, I can see all the blocks, but currently we don't have any blocks, so we don't see anything. And in the your blocks, we can see only our blocks. In the share block, we can share block. And now we're logged in and we can see the log out button and we can log out. So when we log out, we can see the sign up and login button or link. Uh, so that means there's a conditional rendering, it depends on the logging the user or something. So now we're logged out. And if I just want to go to share blog endpoints, it will redirect me to the login page automatically because I created some middleware for this share blog endpoints. And without a person logged in and verified their JSON web token, they will not be accessed to share blog endpoints. Okay. So let's log in. Uh, so let's just delete this user and I will just sign up again. So I'll just go to sign up and let's say party and the email party at gmail.com and the password one, two, three and sign up. Perfect. Now I'm just logging automatically. Uh, so now if I want to go to share block endpoints, I can go. Perfect. Because I just logged in and in the cookies, we can see the GWT. All right. It just verified from the cookies. Perfect. Now I just want to share block. So. Let's come here and get some paragraph here. Put it here and get the Laura Mipsum. Uh, like something like this, doesn't really matter. One, all right, share. Now, watch this. And it just automatically uh, display on the all blocks page. And just take a look at it. It says shared by Fatih. And this data coming from my username, right? Because I'm just logged in as Fatih, right? So in the your blogs page, I can see this block. And now I've got edit and delete button. All right. So before showing this edit and delete button, I just want to log out and sign up as a new user. And let's call it Emre, my second name, gmail, uh, gmail.com. .com, yeah, one, two, three, and sign up. Perfect. Now I'm just logged in as a party. So I will share another post, blog, whatever. And it will Laura Mipsum dollar two and get the whole paragraph again. Paste it in the content and share that. Perfect. Now it just says shared by Emre, my username that I'm just signing up right now. Like, you know, which is perfect. Uh, like it's not static, it's dynamic. That's how it should be. So in the your blog section, I can see only my this blog, Laura Mipsum dollar two, because now I'm logged in as an Emre and I just shared this post in this account. I can see order this post because it's just shared by party. So I can delete or edit this post because it's just shared by party, but I can uh, do this operation on my post. So I will just go to my your blogs, my blogs, your blogs, yeah. And in the here, I can just click this edit button. And here, it just gets the current data from the database and put it on the values here. And I can just basically edit them as, as I want. So I will just say uh, updated or something. And for the content, uh, like doesn't really matter, but let's say updated as well. So when I click update, it will make, make the updates crowd operation, like update operation in the background. So, Check it out and it just updated. Perfect and updated here as well. Perfect. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty all it. And also I will show you deletes. So when I click this delete, it will just basically delete from the database and these all blocks uh, pulling from the database. So when it's deleted, it will just gone from your blocks and all blocks endpoints. Watch and gone, it's gone. And in the old blocks, it's not there anymore as well. That's the whole thing, I guess. Uh, 
Am I missing something? I think no. When I log out, it just delete the GWT. So if I just want to go to share blog, it will not verify the GWT. So it just redirected to the login page. And as long as I don't log in, it will not let me to access the share blog endpoint because it's protected. Basically it's, so it's time to show you the codes. Go to VS Code. So this is the server file. Uh, yeah, like basic uh, importing files uh, using middlewares connected to MongoDB and here the home page rendering and here it's basically says apply this middleware to all the routes and what does does is let's go to middlewares folder and go to out middle.js and here we've got check user basically it gets the token uh, from the cookies and verify it and if there is a user, like if there's an error, that means this user is not logged in. So we set the user, local user to null. But if we got no error, like basically it, if the uh, token is verified, then we get the user by this ID, decoded ID, because we uh, encode this token with the ID of the user. I'll show you in a minute. And we put it on the user and we set this user to user. And we call the next in each case, in every case, because uh, the point is not validation here. Basically, we want to see if the user is logged in or not. So we make a conditional rendering depends on it. So in the header.js, as you can see, we use this user uh, from this, you know, and here, if we've got the user, we'll show all blocks, your block, share block, and log out because we are logged in, right? But if we're not, then we'll show all blocks share block again, but we'll not show logout. Instead, we will show sign up and log in as it should be. Perfect. Um, and let's go to routes. And in the out route, uh, we've got sign up, login, forget to render the page. And we got post and post sign up and post login to make the crowd operation. And also we've got the logout. Uh, that we where we delete our cookie to make the user log out. So let's take a look at this uh, in closer in the controllers page, out controller. All right, here uh, we've got get sign up. We render the sign up.ags. It's a classic form that I created in the wheels part. And the login as well for the post sign up, uh, I just hash it with using bcrypt for the password and yeah, I just save them to database. And then I just create a token using this user's ID. So it just goes to this function and I just create the token and return it back. And I just put it this to the token and set this as a GWT to cookies and redirected the user to homepage. Uh, so for the login, like I just showed you uh, before already, so I will not, show you a lot of things here, like basic login page. And at the end, we just uh, sent GWT token to cookie as well. And for the logout, we basically set the GWT cookie as empty, which is like basically deleted cookie and set the max age to one millisecond, which will be expire in a minute, in, in, a, in, a, in a millisecond. So it will kind of delete it and redirect the user to homepage as well. Perfect. Uh, that's all about out road and out controller. We just uh, get sign up, login, and log out operation here. And let's go to block route. So it's a little bit large uh, because there's more operation than the out uh, route. So we've got share block. And as you can see, we apply this verified token from the middleware. So let's take a look at the middleware again. And here uh, we've got verified token. And we basically verify the token. And if you got an error in, in those, in both cases, we redirect the user to login page. But if we don't get any error, we call next to let the user uh, access to this specific particular endpoint. Uh, perfect. I'll go to block route. All right. So block controller, uh, let's take a look at it. So in the get share block, we basically render the share block.hs, like it's basic form as I showed you before, uh, share block.hs, like basic uh, title, content, and button, uh, nothing fancy here. So for, for the post share block, uh, we just verify the token 
uh, because in the block, we've got some properties excluding for title and content. We've got shared by and user ID as well. For the shared by, we get the user's username because we get user here, right? And put it on the shared by, and we get the user's ID and put it on the blocks user ID because we will match them in the your blocks endpoint. And we will show to user only the blocks that match with his username, with his ID, right? So that's why we uh, do such a thing like that here. And then we save this block and redirect the user to all blocks. Perfect. Uh, yeah, for the get all blocks, we render this all blocks.ajs. Let me show you this file. Uh, where is that? All blocks here. And also we get all the data from the blocks, block collection and put it on the blocks. And we pass the blocks to this AJS file so we can use it in here. So in the all blocks, as I showed you in the previous video, uh, I used a reverse loop here and I just displayed the title and content and the shared by section and also a button uh, that enables us to read the whole block, right? And the ref the, uh, link is block slash the blocks x dot id like the current blocks id so we can just access the read block page with that url so in the block route uh all the blocks here here block id so get read block so let's check it out what's going what's happening here in the get read block i just get the block with the request that params that id because uh yeah it will just uh in in here, it will when, when we click this, it will just uh, redirect us to the, this endpoint, and we will uh, get this request params that ID and find the object block object and put it on here and get this. And for the read block, uh, for the read block, uh, we get this block title and block content and show to the user. Perfect. What we got else is your blocks page. Perfect. And in the block controller, we've got uh, your blocks, get your blocks. And we, again, uh, verify the token. And we find the user according to this decoded ID uh, and put it on the user. And using this user ID, we find the block using this user ID, right? Uh, as I showed you in the top, uh, we save block with the user ID to, sh to find the blocks in the your blocks endpoint. So we put it on the blocks and we pass the blocks to yourblocks.ags. Let's check this yourblocks.ags page as well. Uh, yourblocks.ags. And here, like the same thing, uh, we get the title, content, and differently, we've got edit block and delete block button. So uh, let's go to another road. And here, edit block, like parameter ID, and this is get edit block. It will uh, render a edit for uh, like I showed you anymore I showed you already and for the edit blog post when we click this here like uh, let's log in first I'll show you rt uh, at gmail.com dot com and one two three log in and yeah when I click this edit it just render this page and when I click this updates, it will just do this post edit block. So in the block controller, get edit block, uh, I get the block using this request that params ID and send this to block. So in the edit block.ajs, uh, where's that? Edit block.ajs, we use this block title to put on the uh, input value and a text area value for the content, you know? Um, yeah, and for post edit block, we we uh, get the uh, uh, block object using this request params that ID and set all the value to this request that body title and content that will provided by the user for updating operation. And then we will redirect the user to your blocks page. So for the edits, for the delete block, we will find the uh, object block object using this request params that ID and like it's just removing here, right? And then we will uh redirect the user to your blog basically refreshing the page and yeah that's all the thing and also uh let's show the models as well nothing fancier but uh like classic model and for the blogs we've got this yeah that's it 
Am I missing something? Yeah, we've got controllers, middlewares, models, uh, routes, yeah, views. We showed you views and server.js. Like, that's all it, right? That's basically all it. I can sign up, I can log into the system, I can share block, uh, and the shared block will be displayed on the all blocks endpoints. And only my blocks that shared by me will display on the your blocks endpoints. And I can only edit and delete my blocks in the your blocks endpoints. And I can't access the share block endpoints uh, without logged in because there is a middleware that protects routes. Uh, that's basically the whole thing. And now I will go and learn how to deploy this Node.js application on the cloud. So for the beginning to deployment, uh, I don't have no idea of deployment because uh, I will learn, I will start with Heroku first. Uh, it's a platform as a service, I think. And then I will learn Docker, AWS, and I will deploy this application to the AWS using Docker, I guess, as I said. Uh, I don't have no idea about this deployment stuff, but I will learn it. And after I learned this deployment stuff, uh, I will make another video and uh, send the link of my application so you can try this block application, share your blogs, and enjoy Fatih's blog websites. <laughs> so that's the whole thing. Uh, like this project maybe look might be look super simple. Uh, from far away, like, uh, but it just taught me a lot of things about backend development. Like I've learned so much things like crowd operations, uh, authentication with JSON web token, uh, sending and reading cookies, uh, creating AJS files and rendering files on the page, uh, creating servers, installing package, importing package and all that kind of stuff. So that was a great project in general and taught me a lot of things. Now it's time to learn deployments to take this project and put it on the cloud and show this project to all the people in the world. So that's it. And again, I want amazing, awesome, perfect, and great days to everyone on the internet and on the planet Earth. And that's it for me. Bye-bye.